Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video, we're going to look at how to combine multiple columns into one column. So my data here shows title, first name, middle name, and last name. We're going to look at four different ways of combining those fields. Let's start with flash fill. This method doesn't use any formulas. All you have to do is give an example of what you want to join. On this one, we'll just join first name and last name. So I write the first example. I'm going to control enter to confirm and stay in the cell. And then I'm going to use the shortcut key control E and it will replicate that pattern down the rest of the column. The disadvantage of this is if I change these values, for example, if I change this to Thomas, it wouldn't update the combined version of the names. The second method uses the ampersand symbol to join things together. And to do this, we would start with an equal sign, click into the cell with the first name, ampersand, then put in a space in quotation marks, ampersand, and then click in the last name. If I copy that down, it will replicate the same formula for the other columns. And this will update. So if I change this back to Tom, so will the combined version of the names. The third method uses a function called concat. It does much the same job as the ampersand symbol. What we do is we specify the text that we want to join together within this function. Okay, for first name, comma, then a space, comma, and then the last name. Copy that down and it replicates the formula. Now text join, if you do have it, it's in the more recent versions of Excel, is the best method, equals text join. And what you do is you specify your delimiter, so the character that you want to separate these fields with. And for us, that's a space, comma, and then you say what you want to do with empty cells. You can see we've got this ignore empty argument here. And this will be very useful where, for example, I wanted to join title, first name, middle name, and last name together. And in some cases I don't have a middle name. And in some cases I don't have a title. So I want to ignore the empty cells. I'll say true there, comma. And then in the text one argument, I can specify all the cells that I want to join together. Close the bracket, press enter. If I copy this down, you can see that it joins together all of those fields. If I just wanted to join together the first and last name, I could use text join for that. So equals text join. My delimiter again would be a space. Ignore empty, I might as well say true. You know, there won't be any empties in this scenario. And then I can say comma text one, be the first name, Text two could be the last name. Close the bracket, press enter, and copy it down. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe, and I'll see you next video.